Scientists have found a way to extract vanilla flavoring from plastic and that can be used to make ice cream. They first break down PET plastic into terephthalic acid and there are actually special worms with enzymes in their mouth that can do that. Yeah, plastic eating worms are real. And researchers found a way to use this enzyme along with a modified E. coli bacteria to convert this terephthalic acid into vanillin. That's the fundamental compound of vanilla. It's chemically exactly the same as natural vanilla. So yes, technically it can be used to make ice cream which is currently undergoing some reviews it's not available for customers just yet but the researchers don't care about the ice cream making aspect of this they are more excited about the extraction process we can finally make useful compounds out of plastic you can even make medicines or cosmetics out of this now that is pretty cool this isn't a new thing there are some videos online about this mostly by news agencies they usually don't tell you the whole story and uh, well people don't really understand how it works i mean look at the comments on this fox news video that was made nine months ago people are complaining oh this is cancer this is this and that conspiracy theory whatever some dickhead was saying oh, they named it vanillin which is very similar to vanilla oh these guys are villains they are trying to fool people um sir vanillin is the compound's name that is naturally present in vanilla did you understand that it's not some conspiracy made by big pharma or some shit it's the name of the compound that's been around as long as vanilla has been around god these vegetables i mean this is the reason why i'm the hopeless geek i don't have any hope for humanity for every one reasonable person there are 50 of these guys they hold back progress they protest everything and this is why good shit takes so much time to be developed they don't understand what's being done and they just think it's actually plastic you're eating raw plastic that's not what's happening here maybe there was like one common that got the point this is not plastic ice cream this is regular ice cream which has vanillin flavoring which was extracted by decomposing PET. You see, there's a whole process between plastic and ice cream. BBC Earth Science made an excellent video. I'll link it down below. There, the comments are a lot more positive because people understood what it's all about. But most of these American news agencies, I mean, they are not exactly the pinnacle of IQ. So I'm not really surprised they did a piss poor job of representing this technology. Hopefully you understand, right? You're not eating plastic for the hundredth time. You're eating vanillin which is exactly the same as natural vanilla because it's the same compound. There is no difference between the water in your house and water in some other country. It's H2O. As long as you purify it, it's the same water. There's no difference. And some dickhead was saying, oh, there's no difference between this and regular vanillin. Yes, there is no difference because it's the same goddamn compound. These people are just so exhausting. They're so, f <clears throat> they're so dumb. This is why the governments are collapsing. What? Governments are collapsing with vanilla ice cream? Really, bro? Anyway, just wanted to quickly inform you about this new research that people can now make other compounds using PET in plastics. What do you think of food and cosmetics made out of plastic? I think it's a great initiative because it helps us reduce plastic waste, but of course it has to undergo the regulatory approval. We'll see what happens. You let me know your thoughts.